Welcome back to another episode of Off Night Radio. I am your host, Motto. A special edition of Off Night Radio I like to call the Big Fat Turkey Edition. Uh, so we're going to get right into the show without no further ado. Welcome to my HugeHealthTips.com sports headlines. Be healthy, be informed. James Franklin, head coach of Penn State, has agreed to a new 10-year deal worth an estimated $75 million. That's $7.5 million per year if he... Coaches throughout the contract that will keep him with Penn State through the 2031 season. Congratulations to James Franklin and the uh, and Penn State. LeBron James, after his uh, scuffle, whatever you want to call it, altercation with Isaiah Stewart, has been suspended one game while Isaiah Stewart was suspended two games. Um, people are in uprage that LeBron only got one game and Isaiah Stewart only got got two games, even though Isaiah Stewart got his eye split open and his lip busted. Um, so people are in outrage about that. Um, nonetheless, the New York football giants, after losing to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Monday Night Football, have decided to fire Jason, offensive coordinator Jason Garrett. Yes, Jason Garrett, the former head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Yes, Jason Garrett is now a free agent. And the Giants continue to show that rock bottom, yes, has a basement. Um, and last but not least, Tyson Hill gets a hybrid contract, a four-year a hybrid $95 million contract. And now how it works is if he becomes a starting quarterback over the next four years, he'll get $95 million. If he doesn't, if he stays in his flex position where he's running back, quarterback, tight end, receiver, uh, or whatever special teamer, this contract is worth $40 million. Um, $22.5 million of this contract is fully guaranteed. So this is one of the more unique NFL contract that I've, I've ever seen. So shout out to Taysom Hill for that, that he got paid. Either way, he's going to get paid probably close to $10 million a year, whether he's the quarterback or not. And I think it's well-deserved. He does a lot for the New Orleans Saints. Time to get into my main topic. And before we get into that, um, a word from my sponsor. Look, I know you got a good, I know you got a good idea for a website. So let me tell you about Namecheap. Namecheap is committed to offering the industry's best value for domain names, SSL certifications, website hostings, VPNs, and more. Click on the link in the description and buy that website name domain today. I would like to issue an apology to Terrence Crawford. Uh, for those who don't know, last weekend um, on ESPN Plus pay-per-view, Terrence Crawford scored a, a TKO victory over Sean Porter in the 10th round. Um, ladies and gentlemen, up until that Terrence Crawford win, uh, I've I thought Terrence Crawford level of competition have been subpar. Um, I do I do think Gamboa is a good fighter. I do think Kell Brooks is a pretty good fighter. Um, Amir Khan to some degree, but I thought at the I thought Terrence Crawford. I still think this, by the way. I thought Terrence Crawford's comp- level of competition has been subpar. So. Um, I thought Sean Porter would give him. I thought Sean Porter was probably not, not, not probably. Sean Porter is the best fighter Terrence Crawford has fought professionally in his professional career, in my opinion. Um, he so he made easy work of him, in my opinion, during the fight, and I have to apologize to that man. And um, so we're still waiting for the Errol Spence Terrence Crawford fight. I now lean towards uh, Terrence Crawford to win that fight nowadays now because I saw Errol Spence versus Sean Porter and some people will say that Sean Porter won that fight. I don't think so. I think Errol Spence won that fight but by the skin of his teeth he won that fight. He barely. So, and I, I think if I rewatch that fight I don't know if I come out with the same result. But, um, so, same, they both had the same opponent. We saw different results. You know what I mean? So, uh, I, I, again, I want to apologize to Terrence Crawford and his greatness. And, um, yes, I, I'm waiting for the Crawford Spence fight. In fact, I want to throw my man Ugas in there. I would like to see Spence and Ugas. Uh, I would like to see Crawford and Ugas. Ugas is a very long guy. I think he caused problems for a lot of people. And I think it'll be interesting to see if he if he gets a, a high profile welterweight bout after he took care of his business against Manny Pacquiao. So, uh, welterweight division still looking good. I wouldn't be mad at a Terrence Crawford Danny Garcia fight. I think that'll be that'll be a sight to see, um, but we, we we will see. And before I get into my NFL Thursday Thanksgiving special games, my picks and some bets, um, I gotta let you guys know about one of my sponsors. Listen, it's important to separate your business account from your personal account, and the best way to do that is with Bank Novo. Bank Novo has no hidden fees, no monthly fees, easy to use mobile app, 
refund on all ATM fees, and did I mention it's a free business checking account, and much more. Apply for your free business checking account today in just under 10 minutes. Click on the link in the description and get that free business checking account today. Uh, we got we got three games, you know, NFL, Thanksgiving, Thursday. Um, for this particular week, on this particular episode of Off Night Radio, we're going to leave the Sunday games out. We're going to leave the Monday games out. And then next week, we'll return back with a regular show. But I want to add a little bit extra this week. I'm going to give some uh, some prop bets, some uh, uh, parlay bets, and uh, give a little bit more insight into the game. So here's the three games. Bears versus Lions, Cowboys versus Raiders, Bills over Saints. Um, and Bills versus Saints. In fact, I have it that way. I have Bears over Lions, money line. I have Cowboys over Raiders, money line, straight up bet. I have the Bills over the Saints. I got Cowboys over Raiders. And I have Bears over the Lions. Now, on the first game, Bears over Lions, that's a 12.30 start time. Um, I like the under bet. I like the 40. It's the under is that set at 41.5 points. At least it was at 41.5 points when I started. I like the under. I don't think a lot of scoring is going to happen. I like the under with that. So under 41 and a half points uh, for that game. I like a player prop bet in the Cowboys versus Raiders game. I think the Cowboys are going to take care of business with the Raiders, a blowout. But I like Elliott, uh, Ezekiel Elliott scoring a touchdown at minus 170. I think that's a pretty safe bet, pretty good bet. And you can pretty you, you can get some money on it depending on how much money you put into it. And Bills and Saints, I like the over. The Saints uh, running defense got exposed by the Eagles. The Bills are looking to get back on track. I like over 45 points, Bill Saints. I like that over bet in that game. Um, so that is my Thursday Thanksgiving NFL picks. And I gave you some prop bets. And I gave you some over under bets. And I gave you some touchdown bets. So that's, that's kind of fusing my two segments of my premium bet um, segment along with my uh, uh, prediction segment. And to close out the show, I got to let you guys know about Avalo Coffee. You deserve a premium coffee drinking experience. So you need to be drinking Avalo Coffee. Avalo Coffee is a single origin from Colombia with tasting notes of Brazil nut, grapefruit, and oak. Go to AvaloCoffee.com, use the promo code OFF, and get 10% off your entire coffee order. That's it, and I'm, that's it, and that's all. I am over it. I'm out of here. Enjoy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the holidays. See you guys next week with a full regular show, so to speak, of another episode of Off Night Radio.